Hello YouTube, welcome back to a brand new video here on the channel. Now to get this video out as quick as possible, I've literally just ran home from uni, jumped straight onto my setup to record this video for you guys. So please do drop a like and subscribe if you find this video useful. But anyway, we've got all the buffs and nerfs in the new season coming up. So here we go. First, decrease melee lunge distance of all Modern Warfare 3 weapons to align with Modern Warfare 2 weapons. Increase movement speed of all MW2 weapons to align with MW3 standards. Added gun kickback control and recoil control benefits in tactical stance for all different weapons. Sounds good. Assault rifles, the Holger 556, increased aim down sight. MW, MCW, increased aim down sight time and increased sprint to fire. Now onto the battle rifle, the Baz B, increased sprint to fire time. Increased aim down sight time. Increased hit fire spread. Minimum from 2.3 to 2.9. Sidewinder, increased bullet velocity and decreased recoil and gun kick significantly. Sidewinder could be a gun to look out for, to be fair. That does sound pretty exciting. I've used it on hardcore and I do like it. The TAC V, increased maximum damage and increased near medium damage range from 48.3 to 55.9. Increased SMGs for the striker, we've basically got increased near medium range and increased medium damage range. Sounds pretty good. The, the AMR has added the missing hip fire crosshair and the WSP9. Decreased aim down sight time, which is crazy. Increased maximum damage range and increased near medium damage range. WSP9 could be something to look out for. Shotguns, the Lockwood, increased sprint to fire time. Obviously going to be overpowered on hardcore. And the KV broadside, decreased sprint to fire time and decreased aim down sight time. Again, two really, really good buffs for that weapon. LMGs. The TAC, increased sprint to fire time, increased aim down sight time. The RAL MG with decreased sprint to fire time and decreased aim down sight time. The 556, decreased sprint to fire time and the RPK, decreased aim down sight time. All very similar buffs and obviously, or, or nerfs, all very slight though. Marksman rifles, the MCW 6.8, decreased aim down sight time, decreased all damage ranges. Decreased bullet velocity, decreased hit fire spread, and decreased hit fire spread maximum. So that's been nerfed massively. And the DM56 decreased near medium damage and decreased minimum damage. Only slight though, from 39 to 38. The interceptor increased sprint to fire time, increased aim down sight time, and it decreased net damage on multiplayer. And for the SPR, decreased maximum damage range and increased upper arm damage, which is very strange. Snipers, the longbow, has got decreased aim down sight time. I'm not looking forward to that. The Cigna, decreased maximum damage range, and the SPX-80, increased aim down sight time, which is always useful for snipers, but again, it's only very slight. Onto the handguns, the Renetti is decreased movement speed penalties by 50% on the Jag kit, and the Basilisk from MW2, you can see all of them there, increased medium damage range, increased medium damage range, increased far medium damage, and increased lower torso damage on multiplayer from 1 to 1.2 onto the launchers the storm ender addressed an issue preventing some kill streaks from being destroyed and or disabled and then for the melee weapons the knives are pretty much all the same decreased melee lunge distance by 30 percent not ideal if you are trying to use these because as we know they can be really hard to use as it is never mind with extra stuff now onto this they've got the med box decreased time to employ same with the ammunition box the ACS objectives can no longer be captured from further vertical distances than intended. The tactical camera resolves an exploit that allows players to see through the environment when used certain equipment and deployable cover addressed an exploit that allowed players to become visible. Now that's basically it for today's video. That's everything, everything that's been buffed, everything that's been nerfed. Hopefully you did find this useful. Drop a comment down below what you think of these nerfs and please subscribe. I tried to do this video as quick as possible and I will be doing these videos as soon as the patch notes come alive in the future. So thanks for watching. Drop a like and subscribe and hopefully I'll see you all next time.